Yo, what's up, guys? Um, so this is just gonna be a quick video on my Trials of Osiris build because I've been getting some questions and stuff about it. Uh, so I'll just go over it really quickly. Obviously, I'm running a Mortal and Cloud Strike. I mean, that's pretty obvious. That it is the hard meta this season. So just go over the roles and like what you want. So here. If you're keyboard and mouse, you want full bore. And, I mean, high cal is okay. It's definitely, like, the second best option. But you definitely prefer ricochet rounds because it does give 10 more stability. Then you want range fire target lock currently. And then you want an adept range mod. And then field tested is the best option here. Cloud strike. If you get cloud strike from the mission, make sure you get the callus. That makes it much better. Uh, my GL is complete ass, so just don't even follow this. I mean, you want proximity and that thing that makes it have more velocity. I forget the name of that perk. Now I'll go over my subclass real quick. So for my fragments, so I run Spark of Volt so I can get triple 100s. And then Spark of Recharge, this is really good. So at like the end of a round... You can like run and sit in someone's barricade that just keeps you a one shot and it will just help you charge your abilities just that much faster. Feedback. So I have feedback because if uh, someone punches you and you actually have knockout proc, I'm pretty sure you can just one shot melee them. I'm pretty sure I did that in one of my other videos. I think it was the, the first duo queue game I uploaded like two days ago or something. Then uh, Spark of Brilliance. So this is really good when you're like aping in and then you have to use your melee it will completely blind the other guy and it's just a free kill at that point now for your wall you do want to be running towering barricade uh i run catapult lift i've seen people use strafe lift the only reason why i use catapult lift is because i do like scroll wheel skate and this is like much better for that then i run a uh, seismic strike lightning nades and then these two aspects are really important you want to make sure you're running knockout and touch of thunder because Touch of Thunder gives you two lightning nades. And then when you throw it and get someone gets hit by it, it uh, jolts them. So now for my uh, like armor and stuff. And I'll tell you like what stats to go for. So you do want 100 recuff, 100 resolve. That These are two are like a must. I, w I mean, you could get away with less recuff. I would just recommend 100 recuff. Then I would say you probably want around like 80, 80 intellect. You can get away with the lower intellect the better you are, but if you're not too good at the game, I would definitely run at least 80 intellect because supers do win games. And if you're on like 50 intellect, you're going to get your super that much later, and that could be the difference of winning and losing. And I would recommend lowering this to like 80 if you can. And then for your discipline, I would say you want at least 50 to like around 70, around there. Because these lightning nades are really, really good. Like, they're really busted. Strength. So, I would say this doesn't really matter. But now that, like, when you melee, you, you have to wait for it to recharge again. I would say just run around something between, like, 30 to 72. I would prioritize the other two stats, though. Uh, now for my armor. So, first thing we're going to do is actually just go to my artifact real quick. So, I haven't really touched this at all. But just, if you play mainly Crucible, just get these three mods right here. These are really good. And this will, will allow me. So I just used a Rezal mod. And then I have two strand targeting mods. And arc targeting mod. Um, then on my gauntlets. So this is artifice. So it just helps with my stats that much more. Um, I run a strand reloader. Or strand loader. Because the reload on my SMG is like really bad. Yeah it's like 33. But it feels so fucking slow. And then I run bolstering detonation. So the light nades do a shit ton of damage. So. When I throw this on someone, it just helps me get my barricade a lot faster. So I'm just able to spam it a lot more. Chest. So I run double arc on flinching and then a strand on flinching. Pretty standard there. Uh, now for my peacekeeper. So this is where I've seen people use different things like surge mods and stuff. I personally just use double absolution. Because when I pick up uh, an orb, it helps get a lot of my abilities back. So I can just keep getting my barricade and stuff like that. And the last thing is uh, for my mark. So I use double distribution. I've seen people use like bomber and like stuff like that. But I just use double distribution because if I place my barricade near the opponents, I do get a lot of uh, my super bar actually. 
and it gives me all my abilities back at two at the same time. So that's personally just why I run this. I've seen people use like utility kickstart, but this doesn't. This only works when you have a, a armor charge, I think. And this works no matter what. So that's why I use double distribution. Now the next thing we're gonna do quickly. Well, that's it for my build. But the next thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go in Google Chrome, and we are going to go over like how to use this. I'll just have like a quick guide real quick. So I'm on Arc Titan. I have brilliance, feedback, volts, and then recharges in here because it doesn't uh, give any stats, right? So it doesn't really matter. Now here you want to select your exotic that you want to use. So right now I'm on Peacekeepers. I like wars are good too. Just with wars, I feel like a fucking turtle. So that's why I don't use it. Uh, and then you want a hundred Rezil. Hunter Recove. Let's just do this for example. Yeah, so I can get a build something like this. This build is alright. I would like ideally more strength just because you can go melee around faster. Oh, and one more thing. For the mobility stat, you do want this to be as low as possible. So I'm on, let's see. Oh, I closed my game. Oh, I think I was on like... 20 or 30 or something but you do ideally just want to have 10 mobility like 19 18 whatever just because you do actually like move around faster you skate faster and stuff on lower mobility and i mean peacekeepers already give you more mobility so you just don't really want to worry about that step now let's do another example real quick with uh ward so yet again you just click here for your subclass that you're on put on the correct fragment so I'm on brilliance volts and feedback just copy these things here they should all be on by default and then here for wars so hunter Rezil, hunter recov 80 intellect 70 discipline 20 strength and now 20 mobility so yeah this is just how you use our detour picker this will help you get a better build and optimize your stats so you get as little wasted stats as possible i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is just going to be a quick like filler video because there's nothing really out for uh, iron banner or no content really for iron banner uh, i also have a new series that i'm going to be starting which is going to be like breaking down my gameplay and stuff so let me know if there's anything you guys want me to focus for that like focus on for that and yeah that's it uh make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and because we're trying to get monetized, and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and if you have any questions about the bill, just ask them down below in the comments. Bye.